Hello there all, Sebastian here, and today I'll be showing you how to install and operate the Sina SRL2 into the Shoei Neo Tech 2. So we've seen a pretty big change already here, since before March 7th of this year, this video would have been nonsensical. Why? It's because prior to this date, all Shoei Neo Tech 2s only fit Sina SRL1 systems, and only Shoei GTR2 helmets fit the Sina SRL2. While now all Neo Tech 2s produced on or after March 8th of 2019 can fit the SRL2 Bluetooth Com system. While the Sina and Shoei helmet deal has made many unhappy at being forced to choose a system that doesn't always deliver on expectations, the advantage in this case is the seamless integration, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Whether you own a GTR2 or a Neo Tech 2 or even a J Cruise 2, the SRL2 system will be coming in at about 300 euros or around 330 US dollars. Just a reminder if you wanted to check out more guides for mounting your devices to your helmets, be sure to head to our YouTube channel and hit subscribe. Just a few quick specs for the SRL2 Bluetooth communication system before we put it in the helmet. For the control and the console, you're getting a three button layout here like with the Sina 20S system and the older SRL1. While the simplicity can be good, sometimes it can be a little bit of a burden since you really are only getting three buttons here, so that's something to keep in mind, but this is supplemented by voice commands. If you're listening to music and on the intercom with someone else, the SRL2 should be able to adapt to that and will lower the music volume using its audio multitasking system, which will be a nice feature to add on your group intercom. You should get about 10 hours of talk time with this system, but it's sometimes a good idea to be a bit more skeptical of these sorts of higher figures. The Sina SRL2 system uses Bluetooth 4.1 and also has a smartphone app for iPhone and Android if you want to control it that way and communicate with the system. These are the earpieces here, and it's nice that they've got a bit of padding on them already. If you pair the SRL2 with your phone, then you can use them to stream music, listen to GPS directions, listen to the built-in FM radio on the system, take phone calls, communicate with up to seven fellow riders. So pretty standard from the system, though the seven riders is a very good number compared to some of the other competitors out there like the Encom B901R. Speaking of talking with others, the SRL2 has a range of about one mile in open terrain or about 1.6 kilometers, which is very good. You can also give it voice commands using voice prompts, so you don't need to use your hands, but we'll go over these in a little bit. Lastly, the SRL2 uses advanced noise control to help deal with any wind noise you may be dealing with. Now, let's get to installing. To install the SRL2, first you're going to want to get something soft on which you can let rest your helmet so it doesn't get scratched or damaged. Then you need to take out the liner. You just flip up the helmet and start taking out the cheek pads. You've got two snaps and you pretty much just pull it out of the side. And you can just flip the liner forward to just make it a little bit easier for yourself in terms of access. Don't forget as well to take out these ear pads. There's two foam ear pads on either side there. And there's also another one on the other side. Since you won't be needing them for this system right now, but do keep track of them since you don't want to lose them if you take the system out later on. Next, you're going to need this tool, which comes in the Neotech 2's box, to take these three panels out of the helmet. So the way you want to do that is you put the flathead end of the tool down into the space, push it down, and push it forward until these panels come out. Same on the other side. <coughs> you may have to use a little bit of strength, but you shouldn't force it either. You should just be firm. That's the other one. And then you've got the last one down here in the bottom. This one you just have to get clear of the lip and it'll come out. And the foam comes out as well. Next, we want to get the system. The box comes with two microphones. This is one, this is the one for the Neotech 2, but it also comes with the, the microphone for the GTR2. So just keep track of which microphone you're attaching, and there'll be a notch on it, so you just line it up according to the arrows here and plug it in. Next, you want to just put the entire system in the helmet. It'll make it a bit easier. And you put the battery pack in. 
just make sure it fits underneath the seal at the bottom of the helmet until it goes in and it'll snap. Okay. Next, you're going to want to put the insert inside of the space there and just make sure all the parts are on the right side and you can already snap in the control. So the way you're going to want to do that is you're going to want to line up the grooves in the side of the helmet here and push the console in at an angle. There you are. Next, make sure this stays in. Hide any extra bits of wire in between the helmet. And now you can just fit the earpiece, the speaker, into there. You can slot the extra wire in here between the two panels and it should fit in between the groove with no problems until it snaps. Now for the other side, it's pretty much the same process. You can snap in the console, or rather the panel first. Here it is. Again, you're going to want to do the same and line it up in the grooves so it goes in. Then you put the other speaker in, but this time you need to pay attention to where the microphone will go. So there's only one way for it to fit inside, and it'll snap in. To fix the microphone, what you need to do is just follow the track and put it in there into the special groove, and it turn it 90 degrees so it sticks within the groove. To put the liner back in, make sure you have two small wire loops near the back by the battery of the helmet, as this will make putting the cheek pads in easier. So with the loops in place, place the rear part of the cheek pad into the helmet first until it snaps, and then slowly guide it to the front where it will snap at the front as well. Then simply snap the rest of the cheek pad in, and that's all. With the system in now, the helmet is only 87 grams heavier at 1,774 grams versus the helmet's usual weight of about 1,680 grams, which isn't too bad of a difference. First things first for this, the best advice for how to operate the system is to read the instructions. Few people do, but in the end, most answers to questions will be in there, including more in-depth information on how to operate the system. Now, to turn on the system, you press and hold the middle and the plus button, and the little light will turn on. Preparing it'll flash a little bit, and when it's on, it'll say hello. hello. Now, if you wanted to turn on the radio, you just press and hold the minus button briefly. FM on. Nine, Get a bit of static, but you can track forward or backward by double-clicking either the plus or the minus button. Um, you can keep tracking forward until you find the station that you like. There's a bit of Dutch radio. And to turn it off again, you just click and hold the minus button for a few seconds. If you wanted to connect the Cena SRL2 to your phone, you just need to hold the middle button here for about 10 to 12 seconds. And that will take us to Cena's configuration menu. You can see it coming up when the light turns red, and it says Bluetooth pairing. So you can see it's blinking red now. You then have to get out your phone, and you just tap on it. It should be available in device for the devices section for pairing. You tap it, and once it does, you're all ready to go. Then all you have to do is press the plus button, and it's all ready to go. If, when you turn it on and you want to listen to your music, you just need to tap the plus button, similar to how you turn on your radio. To take phone calls, it's also very straightforward. To answer the call, you tap the middle button here, and to decline, you just double, double tap. But if you want to get a bit more control and insight into your SRL2, Sina also have an app that you can download, which will just improve the functionality and interfacing of the SRL2. If you're driving and want to further communicate with a device, all you need to do is say, hello, Sina and then say your command, for example, play music. music. It's similar to any voice command device, basically. 
You can find a full list of these commands in the instructions here. For example, make a call, turn on the music, or anything like that. To power off the device, it's pretty much the same as turning it on. You just hold the plus sign and the middle again until it says goodbye. If you're interested in the SRL2, you can find it on our website at championhelmet.com, where we have a lowest price guarantee. And if you're in the market for a new helmet, like the GTR2, NeoTech2, or the J-Cruise2, then you can find the SRL2 in the product bundles for a discount. So overall, the Cena 2 is giving you plenty of basic features, and Cena have tried to do it in an uncomplicated way. When you're driving, you can use the voice commands or the buttons, and when you're off the bike, you can use your phone for any configuration tasks that you might have. Hopefully, you found this helpful. Let us know what you think of the video down below, and make sure to subscribe for more content. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets. Thanks for watching.